Well, um, you don't know until you get in and start looking at how the framing has reacted. Um, there are two kinds of houses in the world. Those that crack and those that are going to crack. Every house is going to have some cracks in it. Okay. The, what most people don't understand, though, is houses have a significant ability to take a lot of movement without a loss of structural integrity. And the reason is, is because a house's structural bones are made out of what? Wood. Wood is a very bendable, very ductile material. Go out here and grab any branch on any tree and you will see how easy it bends. And so we've all been in the 1920s, 1930s house and the floors are all sloping, the doorways got this angle and that. And we all accept that the fact that those are, um, you know, structurally sound houses even though they move that much and it's because they've got that long history in it. Well, in 1920 and 1930, the people's houses, when they started moving like that, they weren't happy either, but we've come so long since then. Those houses are built the same way this one is, and so if you can accept a 1920s or a 1930s house can move with that much movement in it and not have a loss of structural integrity, you have to accept that a house built with the same techniques being built today can do the same thing and not have a loss of structural integrity, potentially. Now what you've got to do is you've got to look and see how the house has moved and, you know, has the movement created a loss of structural integrity. You just don't jump to the conclusion just because I have a crack that it's a structural issue. You, you've got to understand what's going on, where's it going on, and, and, and so forth. And cracks will tell you a lot. In fact, is if you look at this crack right here, you see how, how, how narrow it is down here and it gets wider here. This is the same crack and it's even wider up here. That's clearly shown rotation. The other thing is you notice where this is at a corner and this is at a corner and it's going up to where that window is. Anywhere you have a discontinuity in a material it generates a stress concentrator. And so cracks are like college or high school students. They're going to take the path of least resistance. And by coming out of the corners, that's a pretty normal sign. And so that's why you typically see cracks around foundation vents, around windows, around doors, and your brick veneer. And then interior and drywall, because that's a brittle material also, around windows and doors. And that's why you see that. And so it's more of a matter of, you know, what's going on, why is it going on, and then let's figure out if it's a loss of structural integrity or not.